Hi, I'm Kian with FewTech Technical Support Team, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up a profile in the FewTech IHH 500 and IPM 650. There are two ways to set up a profile. One is to use the available information about your load cell, and the other is to perform a live calibration using the calibrated system. In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a profile using known information about your load cell, and I'll briefly go over a live calibration. For this video, you will need your load cells calibration certificate or information about your load cells such as capacity and sensitivity. And of course, you'll need your FUTEC IHH500 or IPM650. For our demonstration, we're going to use a TRS605 rotary torque sensor with an encoder to set up our profile in our IHH500. In the IHH500, Press the red menu key to enter into the main menu. The very first option that will be highlighted is Sensor Profile. Press Enter to go into Sensor Profile. Next, use the red down arrow key to go down to New Channel and press Enter to go into New Channel. Using the left and right arrow keys, select the appropriate channel for number for the profile that you want to set up. Press Enter to select the profile number that you wish to use. The very first option that will be highlighted is Sensor Config. Press Enter to go into Sensor Config. Using the left and right arrow keys, select the appropriate type of output for your sensor. For our example, we're going to choose Voltage and Pulse. Hit Enter to select the type of output for your sensor. Press Enter to acknowledge the operation was successful, now press down to highlight direction. Go into direction. Choose either unidirection or bidirection. Our rotary torque sensor is a dual output type of sensor, so we will choose bidirection and press enter to select your selection. Go into unit selection. Here, you select the category appropriate for your load cell. For our example, we will choose torque. Press enter to go into the category for the chosen output for your load cell. Using the right and left arrow keys, cycle through to find the appropriate engineering unit for your load cell. For our example, we will choose Newton's meter. Press Enter to select the appropriate engineering unit and press Enter to acknowledge the operation was successful. Press Enter to go into sensor capacity. Change the output for the appropriate capacity of your load cell. For our example, we're going to choose 100. Press Enter to enter in the capacity for your load cell and again press Enter to acknowledge the operation was successful. Next. Press Enter to go into Sensitivity Positive. Here, you enter in the sensitivity for your sensor for the positive direction. For our example, we will set it to 5 for 5 volts. Press Enter. Press Enter to enter into negative sensitivity. You enter in the appropriate output for the negative direction of your load cell. For our example, we will choose 5 for 5 volts. Press down and you will see calibration is highlighted. Calibration is a method to perform a live calibration and we will go over that method after we have set up the profile using known information. Press down to highlight pulse rotation. Press enter to go into pulse rotation. Set the number of pulses that would be available from your load cell if applicable. For our example, our TRS-605 has 360 pulses out per revolution. Press Enter to enter in the value. Go into the serial number. Here you can set your sensor serial number or another number that helps you understand that this profile relates to your load cell. For our example, we will set it to the sensor serial number, which is 402082. Now, Press the red back button to exit out of the profile menu. Using the down red arrow key, cycle down and highlight save changes. 
Press Enter to enter and save changes. Hit the back red button to exit out to the main menu and again hit the back button to go out to the regular menu. And this completes how to set up an IHH 500 profile. This next section will show how to perform a live calibration portion of the sensor profile. To perform a live calibration, the positive sensitivity and negative sensitivity fields must be entered if applicable. If the positive sensitivity and negative sensitivity aren't exactly known, an approximate value can be entered in. Once a live calibration is performed, the exact sensitivity positive and negative will be entered into the IHH 500. After the positive and negative sensitivity have been entered, scroll down to highlight calibration. Press enter to enter into calibration. Press enter to select the zero load positive. Here, place a zero load on the load cell and press enter to capture the sensitivity from the load cell. Press enter again to acknowledge this operation was successful. Press the red down arrow key to select full scale positive. Apply a full load in the positive direction on your load cell and press enter to capture the reading from the load cell for the positive direction. Go into the zero load negative. With zero load on the load cell, press enter to capture the reading from the load cell. Press enter again. Press the down red arrow key to highlight full scale negative. With a full load in the negative direction on your load cell, capture the reading from the load cell. Press the back button to exit out of the calibration menu. Here, you can continue with setting up the profile as normal. This concludes how to set up a profile in the Futech IHH 500 and IPM 650. For more information on the IHH 500 and IPM 650, visit our website at www.futech.com.